perform outside, I think you just, you have to let go of a lot of that stuff and understand that, you know, you are sort of, you know, privy to an environment and, you know, mm -hmm. whether or not it's cold or whether or not, you know, you're tired or whether or not it feels like, you know, the lights are ready for you or the sound is ready for you, you just kind of have to go with it. And, and uh, I think, you know, the fact that we were able to do that the other night and let go actually turned it into mm -hmm. a very nice performance, which, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think either of us expected it to go as well as it did in some ways. Uh, <laughs> of life. I weave the story of the earth and the sky and the human being and all that walks upon this planet. I am the web of life. Gaze upon me with wonder and mystery. The old kind of music, that's the best music in the world. The old fashioned music. Chet Hackens. You remember them? You heard about them? No, you see? You're young, you cannot say what they was the best. I play Portuguese, I play rock and roll, I play all kinds. I'm a, a solo guitar. I can play bossa novas, I can play boleros, I can play a lot of things, you see? That's what it is, man. Calm it down, calm it down. See, we keep it cool where I'm from, baby. You know the dirty south, yeah. But I rap New England all day. Three stripes, y'all. Three for the stripes, right? Three for the stripes, Somerville, B-Town. Here we are, Scat TV. Will it be enough to pay my child support? No. Oh. Do you think everybody can pay child support with a satellite dish? So, you can give me a few bucks and then bring it down there yourself. No. You see how it says direct TV on the dish? It means you take it directly to the scrapyard. Have a nice day. Fine. I don't need the stuff. You take it. Well. that is known is not known by scientists, priests, or philosophers. All that rules the universe is not known. The senses can deceive. That is why. If you think of the white but stay with the black, you will become sustained, patient, and enduring. And you will become the I don't know. I think it's something like, ha 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 ha, whoa. Well, this one's debuting on public access TV. 
and the rhyme scheme's looking pretty A, B, C, B. My sister Olivia and I, we're the sick, nasty creators. The title's rather punny. I'm an English major. Here in Somerville, Mass, there's a lot going on. But we mostly just stick to filming inside our home. So take a seat, unless you've already done so, and prepare yourself for the Foxy Moron Show. He slides a chair. He climbs up. Out come the eggs, milk, and butter. Then he climbs down. Out come the flour, baking soda, and baking powder. Out come the plastic spoons, wooden bowl, and tin cake pans. All right, what other animals are on the farm? A cow? Ducks. Let's do a cow, then we'll do some ducks. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere to moo. One day all people, regardless of their creed, Will not be judged. Yeah. Clap your hands now, let's go. I have a dream. Yeah! I have a dream that one day we'll all be equal. Tolle Ami Mbani la Guinea e West Africa Mkatozani Namanda ndi Ameriku kato ndi muso trofe ana paske Ameriku na kokanye ano e potinti kase ano Yana ndi manye bali me la la Guinea la Guinea no di mna bali ano namani ano that we tell ourselves and to the stories that we tell other people and you know we laugh and we heal through stories and we share and we get to know other people and it's just I, I try to start off every session with you know some sort of story anything you rate your day from one to five or give a rose and a thorn for your week and it helps to know where people stand um, in order to work with them the first day I started working in Groundwork Summerville, I, d I didn't know how to ride a bike. I learned how to ride a bike from here. My pals and I could go to a party. I could bake a cake that is so hearty. I might take a ride on a roller coaster Whee! with friends to support me behind my shoulder. I could grab a bite and not get in a fight. Maybe go to the movies, an idea that is tight. The movie itself will be nice with special lighting, special effects galore. This is the right thing to, to do. do, which involves chilling at the pool, hanging with friends that came from my school. We jump in and make it splash all over. The pool makes us feel so much better and colder. No stones. Look at all these amazing things I can do. No stones. Just cause I don't really need to use. Why believe in? This is the American dream 
of freedom on wheels. An automotive age, traveling on time-saving superhighways. Neighborhoods were sacrificed to push the roadway through. The elevated sections created huge barriers that isolated hundreds of acres of homes and businesses from the rest of the city. It was the road that connected Boston with um, all the towns to the north. And it was developed long before cars or highways or any of those sorts of things. But it was never really made to, to be a highway. Now, let's talk a little bit about health care, because yeah. I think we have a little bit of time. Are you um, at all watching what's happening in Vermont with the single-payer system? It's pretty interesting, isn't it? It is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, uh, uh, Governor Shumlin is a great friend and somebody I admire uh, tremendously. I have found that in the, in the debate here in, uh, in Massachusetts, going all the way back to 2006 when uh, the first round of health care reform was coming into effect, people went to their opinions about single payer before it was even clear we were talking about the same thing. Uh -huh. Because it can range from, you know, common codes and forms to, to Canada and all mm -hmm. kinds of things in between. Yeah. Yeah. Boston, Rayco, Greater Boston, Nepalese Community, Go, Adduce, Panionunza, Sate, Boston. Ben de Tacite Toussaint, chef de cette opération, a précisé que le ministère de l'Environnement va continuer ce genre d'opération dans quelques autres endroits de Port-au-Prince, tout en suggérant les consommateurs à l'utilisation des produits compostables, ce qui permettra de protéger notre environnement. Suite à l'autre opération que nous avons fait préalablement, pour nous renforcer des décret euh, arrêté qui était sorti en date du 10 juillet 2013 qui fait interdiction à entrée commercialisation euh, utilisée. Big concern is that people have um, people have lived in the city all their lives and continue to make some of what it is today, which I'd agree in terms of you know the new people, the old people uh, that have been here for a while, that they shouldn't be forced to leave the city because it's too expensive to live in. Mm -hmm. right. And well, I think I think uh, you know if you go back um, over the last ten years, when we started talking about um, you know zoning mm -hmm. and development, uh, you know the one thing that everyone has always talked about is commercial development. Yeah. Uh, and we've seen a lot of development. Not much of it has been commercial. Therefore, uh, we are in the predicament that we are today. And if we continue on that same road, uh, you know, 20 years from now, we'll be in even worse shape. Yeah. You've been following politics almost your entire career, from print through radio, through television. What are you making of the current political atmosphere that's in Washington. Are you surprised by what's happened, that there is, seems to be this gridlock between the two parties? Not surprised as much as appalled and disappointed. Uh, the, the baby boom generation that's in control now in Washington, both sides of the aisle, is really living up to the, that generation's nickname as the me generation. So many of them have been priced out of the market. Um, I live between Davis and Teal Square, and a lot of those families who were my neighbors are gone now. I joined the Fair Housing Commission to prevent discrimination from keeping people out, but people will also be kept out unless there's housing they can afford. That's why I support the housing development on Lower Washington Street in Union Square. ¿Cuál cree usted? Es el porcentaje de la población en Somerville afectada con la obesidad. Es mucho, yo pienso que un 90, 80%. Específicamente no sé el número, pero <laughs> pienso que hay mucho. Hay muy... mucha gente que es, es obesa. Muchísima, muchísima. Porque se da cuenta de, en la high school, hasta han puesto muchos, um, muchos este, comidas saludables supuestamente para ver si así la, la hacen mejorar, pero no han podido. Soy Dr. Ahrens, trabajo en la clínica en East Somerville. 
uh, Broadway, La Clinica de Broadway. So the reason why uh, we've brought you all here today, and thank you for joining us, is to um, sort of understand in a broader context youth violence in particular. And of course, this has been instigated by the events that happened over the summer that really shocked and devastated a lot of us in the Somerville community. Um, around the uh, sports team that was away on a, a sports training retreat. So first I'd like to just understand, um, just briefly uh, from you, Riccardi, you know, we're starting to understand this incident as hazing. Can you explain to us what hazing typically is, how we might define it in our society? Hazing is basically an initiation. Um, usually happens within sports teams, and it's a way to builds a community or a brotherhood, but unfortunately the approach is usually one that has more negative repercussions than expected. Donde podrán tener información actual y al día de qué pueden hacer para involucrarse en todo este proceso de ciudadanía y en todo este proceso de la reforma migratoria. Qué gusto conversar contigo, Cristina. Igualmente. <laughs> To discuss recent events that occurred on July 13, 2013 in Florida, where the verdict came in for the murder of Trayvon Martin, a 17-year-old black boy who had been shot on his way home from walking to a convenience store. George Zimmerman, his killer, was found not guilty. This verdict, stand your ground laws and race relations in the U.S. are now being heavily debated by pundits, cultural critics, and community organizers across the country. When you hold it out like that and it's still stiff with the board, that means it's in rigor mortis. Oh. See how oh. stiff that is? That means it's a really fresh, high quality wow. fish. And this one's bending a little bit. This is before rigor mortis? No, this is, po I mean, that's about as good as you're going to get. I mean, that for a flat fish like that. Another trick of the trade is to check the gills. The gills? What yeah. am I looking for in the gills? You want just a bright red, you know, real sort of blood red color, you know? All right. First up, a report from Somerville Neighborhood News Director Jane Regan. As you know, the immigration reform bill is stalled these days in Washington, but that doesn't mean immigrants and their allies in Somerville are standing still. Almost a thousand supporters of immigration reform marched in downtown Boston on October 5th. It was one of about a hundred marches across the country that day. We are here to push for immigration reform because it's very necessary that most of the 11 immigrant undocumented here need to get something to legalize them. You can see it's actually moving, so it's like a liquid form. Heroin. It's the drug Somerville police are particularly concerned about this year. We have found that there are more heroin users today than in the past. A heroin at one time was uh, what was considered a junkie's uh, drug. You know, people used cocaine. Uh, for recreational purposes, we saw a lot of cocaine, a lot of marijuana. Today, we don't see cocaine as much because, again, cocaine is a recreational drug, but we are seeing a lot of heroin because heroin is so addictive, more and more people have become addicted to it. They need it. The more they need it, the more it becomes accessible, and we're seeing more heroin today than we've ever seen in the past. I think that recycling is a really important way to, you know, make our resources last as long as possible. You just know that when you're throwing so much stuff away that something's not right. So people start to do something about it. I recycle because I think it's really important to minimize things that we throw out and that end up in landfills because, you know, when we throw things out, they're not disappearing. Almost nobody would say that recycling isn't good when you compare it to throwing it away. 